Look at this sweet old statue of a little boy riding a turtle. And that patina, actually we'll take credit for that. This is how the statue looked before. He was $4 at a yard sale, made of cement, and was covered in both metallic and some thick white paint. So restoring this statue actually started with restoring these antique steps that we repaired with cement paint. So you can fix some steps or fix the statue with cement paint and love for a country house. We painted the risers on these old steps white and they looked great until years of rain splashed the bottom two and they started to crack and crumble. So we wanted to try mixing cement into our paint, but we found very little information about this online. So we just tried it and we really liked the results. So the first recipe we came up with for cement paint was starting with five cups of Rapid Set Cementol. So this is a premium cement that does well in wet conditions. Then in a separate container, we mixed half a cup of paint with one cup of water and we blended that really well. Then we added this gradually to the cementol, getting out the all that paint out of the measuring cup and stirring it up to break up the lumps. And then we added just one more half cup of water. We are looking for a consistency that would work with both a putty knife or a paintbrush. So now we're gonna wet the broken surface first with a spray bottle. And notice we've got the painter's tape and drop cloths in place because it's still gonna be messy. And so the cement paint can be put on thinly with a brush like this. And then where we've got the deeper pits, we can put it on thicker with a putty knife. I mean, they say cement all can be built up very thick, like up to four inches. We didn't need that much. So you could thin this out a bit more, but look how smooth it is. It's like butter and it stayed pliable much longer than plain old cementol, which usually gets hard in about 20 minutes. So we could work on getting the knife marks smooth with the damp paintbrush. And for the paint, we used bare barn and fence paint, which resists peeling off. Then just a little touching up with the brown sponge paint and we have a whole video just on that and the cracks in the corrosion were gone. And the steps looked really good again. So the steps project gave us the confidence to restore this old statue. We removed the loose paint with a dental pick and this was actually kind of fun because it started to reveal so many details that were hidden. And then we made a similar cement paint, but with just two tablespoons of cement and a lot more colors. We used chalk paints and matte acrylic. We broke up the lumps in the cement. Then we mixed one part paint with two parts water separately. We started with white. Then we added enough of the watered down paint to make a smooth cement paint, just like we did with the steps. We were amazed that the paint kept the cement from hardening for an hour when usually it dries in just 20 minutes and it was very easy to work with. The coverage was good with the cement paint so we went over the places where the old metallic couldn't be removed and we watched the bad paint finish vanish in no time at all. And then we added some plain darker paint with a small brush into the recesses and each time we added paint we dabbed over it with the cement paint to blend it back and make it look less like paint and more like concrete. And we used colors like moss and brown. We even used a little bit of red and brown mixed together to make it look a little bit like terracotta was peeking through. And we used plain white too. We used a small art knife to scrape on some plain white paint so that it would more resemble smooth concrete on top of the rougher concrete. And we used the cement paint to fill any little cracks or holes that we saw but we left his head the way we found it because it looked like lichen and it was such a cool patina. And then when he was dry, we saw this photo and we were amazed because it was the first time we'd ever seen this statue's face and he was smiling. So welcome home, little guy. We love you and we think we love cement paint too. So for more amazing paint finishes and crafts, don't miss the next episode of Love for a Country House. Click the Sun logo to subscribe and see you later.